Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is Understanding uh, Relations and Functions. We've uh, uh, done some of this before you guys, in fact most of it, we just haven't really done a formal definition about that. So, And don't forget all your lessons can be found at MrMathBlog.com. Let me show you what that happens when we do that here. So if we go to MrMathBlog.com, you come to a site that looks like this. And so across here you see all the classes right here. Now. Uh, to make this recording, my computer won't let me unless I'm offline. So I'm offline, but if you if you click that right here, I did this before so I can show you, it gets you all of these lessons right here. So you just scroll down, find your lesson. As soon as we get done with this lesson, I'm going to go ahead and load it right there, okay? All right, so um, uh, here we go. So let's get started. So uh, some definitions, you guys. So a relation, you guys, is just a set of ordered XY pairs where X is the input values and why is the output values and your domain is all possible inputs of a relation okay so they're all the x values in your relation just think of a bunch of ordered pairs you guys all the x's are the domain and the range is all the possible outcomes which is your y values of a relation so here we have a relation right here the input x is the ages of boys and the output y is their corresponding heights in inches. So, so this kid is 7 years old and he's 41 inches tall. This kid is 8 years old, 45 inches tall. 9 years old, 49 inches tall. All the way up to, got a 12 year old, he's 59. So, so these are all the x's. The first ones are all the x's right here. And there are domains, okay, they're the inputs. And the y's are all the outputs right here. Doesn't it make sense that the older a kid gets, the taller that they get? So if we know their age, we can do a guesstimate of what their what their height was going to be, okay? So let's fill in the values of the table. So I'm going to put all the X's in this column right here and put all the Y's over here. So this 7, this 8, this 9, this 10 are going to go down here. And then the 41, 45, and 49, and uh, the, all the Y's are going to go down here, okay? All right, so easy enough, okay? So then let's plot those points, okay? Well, this is the age down here. Always, 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 this is our x-axis right here, and this is our y-axis. And when we graph the, the horizontal uh, axis, is always your x-axis, and the vertical axis is always your y-axis. So over 7, up 41. So we're going to go over to 7 years old and up to 41 inches tall. So this is this is height right here in inches and down here is age in years, okay? Then we'll go over 8 up 45. So there's over 8 and then up 45. We'll make a point right there, okay? So we'll plot all these points. 9, so let's go ahead and do this. I think I did this one at a time. Yeah, there's 741 over 7 up 41. Okay, here's the next one, 845. 949, 1052, and then we got a 1053. So they stacked right on top of each other right there, okay? Then we got an 1155, and finally a 1259 right there. All right, so uh, we're going to complete the mapping diagram. Okay, well, these are the ordered pairs right here, 7, 41, 8, 45. So I'm just going to draw arrows. That's all a mapping diagram is. You put all your X's in one, and you put all your y's in the other. Now let's go back to that table right here. See we have two tens right here, but we don't need to do that in the mapping. We just have one ten here. We're going to draw arrows. They'll put the two tens over here. This ten gave us 52 and this ten gave us 53. So when we draw these arrows right here, we're going to draw an arrow to 52 and to 53 right there, okay? So there they are right there. That's what the mapping diagram is. Just each X goes to which Y. That's all that means when you see that right there. All right, so state the domain. The domain are all these X values right here, and the range are all the Y values, okay? Easy, huh? So, so uh, the number uh, 10 appears twice in the X column of the table. How many times is it written in, in the domain? Well, here's the domain right here. It's only written that one time right there. So the number 10 is uh, written only once in the domain. The domain is a list of the input values of, uh, and a number. Uh, whoops, I misspelled something. And a number should only be listed once, no matter how many times um, uh, that actually appears. Okay, let's fix that. LD. There we go. Sorry about that. I make mistakes all the time. Doesn't your math teacher make mistakes? I do every day. All right, uh, so here's another relationship of ordered pairs right there. So here we got 40, 2, 45, 3, and 54. And so 
here is uh here they are on a table right there here's our 42 or 45 3 and our 54 right here okay here they are being uh graphed right there okay over 40 up two and then over 45 up three and then over 50 up four right there okay this one says the classrooms because that's what this says classroom this down here says students because that says students right there okay here they are mapped right there okay so can you do all of that all right the domain are all your x values this is my domain our inputs these are our ranges. These are our outputs right here. So this talks about if there's 40 students, they'll, they'll have two classrooms. If there's 45 students, they'll have three classrooms. If there's 50 students, they'll have up to four classrooms. Okay. A function is a type of relation, uh, relation, so a set of ordered pairs in which there is only one output for each input value. So x can't appear more than once, like that last one where the 10 appeared more than once. This one was not. Uh, this is not a, a function because uh, the 10 gives us two different outputs. It says up here to be a function that it can only give one output. So we can have um, uh, some inputs going to the same output. We just can't have one input shooting to two different outputs right there. Okay, so this is not a function because this gives us two different outputs. It's only supposed to give one. This one is a function because each one gives us one output right there. All right, so the given relation, uh, relation, I want to say relationship, the given relation represents the amount of gas in gallons and the distance traveled in miles from that amount. So we have 10, 150, 16, 240, all these ordered pairs, okay? So here they are being graphed right here. So here's over 10, up 150, down here is gas per miles. Remember, this is always my x-axis, that's down here. And the second column is always your y-axis. That's up here. So it says distance in miles. That's what that says. Gas in gallons. That's what that says right there. So here they are being graphed right there. Here they are being mapped right there. Okay. Now we have uh, 16 and 17 both going to 240. That's okay. We just can't have one of these going to two different numbers. But we can have two of the, these two numbers going to the same output. We just can't have... Um, uh, the same input giving us two different outputs. I hope that makes sense right there, you guys. Okay, so the domain is all the x values, 10, 16, 17, and 20. The domain represents the different amount of gas in the car. The range are all the y values, and the, and the range represents this, the distance in miles right there. Okay, all right. So for an input, they've given us a series of questions right here, so let's do this. So for an input of 10 gallons, we drove 150 miles. The output is 150 miles. For an input of 16 gallons of gas, the output is 240 miles. For an input of 17 gallons of gas, it's 240. And finally, for an input of 20 gallons of gas, the output is 300. We're just saying these numbers up here in that chart, or these numbers in the mapping diagram right there, okay? So is this relation a function? Yes, it is a function because each one of these x's goes to only one y. They're only going in one spot right there. So it is a function uh, because each domain is paired with exactly one range value right there. All right, so lastly, you guys, the vertical line test states that a relation is a function if and only if a vertical line does not uh, pass through more than one point on the graph of the relation. So what does that mean? Okay, so here we have a, a generic graph right there, and I have a vertical line. A vertical line is a line that goes up and down. Let's drag this through. Can this vertical line intersect this graph in at more than one spot right there? I don't see it intersecting that. See, see right here it's intersecting it right there at at most one spot. There's nowhere in this graph where it intersects it in more than one spot right there it's intersecting it right there if I moved it back it's intersecting it right there nowhere else so if I go all the way through this one would be a function because um, uh, it only intersects it in at most one spot how about this one okay can you see this one is not going to be a function it starts off with if we just started going over here you know it's only intersecting it in at most one spot just a second here, let me. All right, in at most one spot right here. I was afraid it was going to do that. So if I go through, it's only in one spot, only in one spot. But as soon as I get to there, it intersects it right there and right there. That's more than one spot. So that is not a function right there. How about this one? Okay, how about that circle? Can you see that that's going to intersect that guy in more than one spot right there? If we 
if we dragged it all the way through see it's intersecting at two spots two spots two spots that's more than one spot that's not a function right there okay how about this one right here if I took this line through and uh, sorry I got I, I got a copy and paste it here so it'll be on top of the picture here so if I go through this thing right here it intersects it in one spot right there one spot right there one spot one spot so it intersects in at most one spot this is a function okay how about this guy right there all right well this one is not a function because uh, as soon as we uh, bring that through I have to copy and paste it and, uh, so it's on top of the picture so one spot one spot one spot but right there it intersects it in two spots that one is not a function right there okay all right you guys if you are in my class I would assign you that homework right there and hey if you guys could would you guys click like on this video you guys okay take care